Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today is episode number 446. The category is USA Landmarks and Monuments. This is a 21-question trivia quiz, and if you're interested in competing in the audience participation competition, there will be a link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. What are the last names of the four U.S. presidents whose heads have been carved into granite by Gutzon Borglum on Mount Rushmore? Those four presidents are Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln. Question number two. Built for the 1962 World's Fair, the 605 foot tall Space Needle is topped by an observation deck and a revolving restaurant. In which U.S. city is it located? The answer is Seattle, Washington. Question number three. The 630-foot monument in St. Louis, Missouri is clad in stainless steel and built in the form of a weighted catenary arch. What is the name of this structure that is the world's tallest arch and is the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere? That arch is called the Gateway Arch. Question number four. Listed in the National Register of Historic Places on November 7th, 1991, Graceland is the famous mansion of rock and roll legend Elvis Presley. In what city can this famous landmark be found? The answer is Memphis, Tennessee. Question number five. The female figure represented by the Statue of Liberty is holding a torch in her right hand and in her left hand she is holding a tablet inscribed with what date in Roman numerals? That date is July 4th, 1776. Question six. A common location for the filming of Western movies, the Red Sand Desert region of Monument Valley is known for the towering sandstone buttes. It is located on the border of what two U.S. states? Those states are Utah and Arizona. Question number seven. Built between 1907 and 1910 in Provincetown, Massachusetts to commemorate the first landfall of the English settlers in 1620 and the signing of the Mayflower Compact, what is the name of the tallest all granite structure in the United States? That is called the Pilgrim Monument. Question 8. A military jail turned high security prison stands on an island in San Francisco Bay. Also known as The Rock, what was the name of the prison that housed high security inmates like Machine Gun Kelly and Al Capone? The answer is Alcatraz. Question number nine. 
Over 1,100 sailors and marines went down on one of the ships at Pearl Harbor in 1941. A memorial has since been built above what ship's real wreckage to commemorate those lost in the surprise World War II attack. That ship was the USS Arizona. Question number 10. The world's tallest obelisk is located almost due east of the reflecting pool and the Lincoln Memorial. It stands 555 feet tall and was completed in 1884 to commemorate which U.S. president? That president is George Washington. It's the Washington Monument. Question number 11. Eventually named after Herbert Hoover, who granted funds to have it built, the Hoover Dam was a huge engineering feat in its day and stretches a whopping 220 acres, damming up the Colorado River. What was it originally called from 1933 to 1947? The answer is Boulder Dam. Question number 12. Originally created as an advertisement for a local real estate development, the Hollywood sign is an American landmark and cultural icon overlooking Hollywood in Los Angeles, California. What was the original wording of the sign from 1923 to 1949? Originally, that sign said Hollywood Land. Question 13. The Four Corners Monument marks the quadra point in the southwestern United States where four states meet. It is the only point in the United States shared by four states. Which four states are they? The answer is Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Question 14. A lot of Texans died fighting for independence during the 13-day siege at what Franciscan mission, which now stands as a monument to the Texans lost in that battle? The answer is the Alamo. Question 15. Hosting political rallies, festivals, and other events, what is the name of the 146-acre stretch of lawn that extends from the Potomac River to the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C.? The answer is the National Mall. Question 16. It was named in 1870 during the Washburn Langford Doan expedition and was the first geyser in the park to be named. In what U.S. state is Old Faithful one of the most visited geysers in Yellowstone National Park? The answer is Wyoming. Question 17. Although he had many famous speeches that have stood the test of time, which famous speech by President Abraham Lincoln is carved into the walls of the Lincoln Memorial? The answer is the Gettysburg Address. Question number 18. 
In what U.S. state is Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, a beacon of hope for the stretch of ocean nicknamed the Graveyard of the Atlantic? The answer is North Carolina. Question 19. Comprising of more than 2,500 five-pointed terrazzo and brass stars embedded in the sidewalks, what is the name of the landmark dedicated to the accomplishments of actors, musicians, and others in the entertainment industry? That is called the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Question number 20. The Liberty Bell, a traditional symbol of U.S. freedom, was commissioned in 1751 by the Pennsylvania Provincial Assembly to hang in the new State House, then renamed Independence Hall in Philadelphia. In what country was the bell created? The Liberty Bell was created in England. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. If you're interested in participating in the audience participation competition, we're going to just call it the intro competition. I'm going to post a link at the very end of this video to a video that will explain the rules to you. But the short rules are email me a 20 second video of you saying welcome to Road Trivia the once a day road trip trivia quiz and just film it somewhere that is unique to your area if you're in any of these individual states if you're in front of a sign that says what state you're in a bridge a mountain anything that's unique to your area I want to get a, a, a good variety of different places of people that watch these quizzes so if you want to do that there'll be a link at the very end there might be one right above you uh, depends on what you're watching this on. I'll put a link on the top of the screen, but there'll definitely be one at the end of this video. I encourage everybody to do it. The winner will get 173 American dollars. If that sounds like a good deal to you, you should enter the competition. Here's the tiebreaker, question 21. A 44-foot tall steel sculpture created by Kiowa Comanche artist Black Bear Boson what is the name of the statue that stands at the confluence of the Arkansas and Little Arkansas rivers in Wichita, Kansas, adjacent to the Mid-American All-Indian Center? If you've ever been to Wichita, or if you've ever seen a picture from Wichita, this is the statue that's in it. It is called the Keeper of the Plains. Thank you for watching today. Have a good night.